Listen up, this is important. Harris can't leave the neighborhood. You know the park on the way to Center City? Harris can't go there anymore. There's too many people, big buildings, and Harris is different. Hey, Paul, you listening? I'm not gonna be around much longer, so I'm gonna need you to take care of Harris for me. I take care of Harris. All right, Paul, get home. Get out of here now. Go home to your crazy grandmother. Oh, Melvin, your hair is so pretty. Harris! Harris, get in here. Let me fix that mustache. <laughs> Okay, Harris. Come on, wake up, sleepyhead. Huh. Okay, Wire. I see what you're up to. Harris, look what I got you. Harris? Ah. Oh. oh, Harris! Ah. Ow. Yo, Paul! Paul! You want some bacon, Paulie? No, Grams, I told you I'm trying to cut out the saturated fat. Okay, oh. I'll just make you a little bit. Oh. No, no, what do you want? My brother is gone. Now listen, he Harris is gone. No, um, what? Our dental papers are gone, our dad's suit's gone. Pretty sure he's going to your office. All right, I gotta get to the firm, Grams. We'll okay. see you later. Melvin, you take care of the cake. Wait, 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 wait. It's on Paul now. It's Adam Melvin's Melvin, hand. shut up. Want Here's some it. breakfast? You know what? Morning just cleared up. Hmm. Will do. How's my hair looking today, by the way? Stunning. Oh, God, Grand, it's so hot. What's the matter? You can't wait. You have to no, eat it now. Wait. Oh! Hey, hey. Oh. You see Harris? No. You see him in the neighborhood? No. I think he's, I think he's going to my office. I'm gonna go stop him. Oh, Paul, maybe we should just let him go. Why did they, Harris? Thanks, I like your bandana, it's pretty nice. Stuff. Hey, thanks a lot. An early start? Yeah. Hello? Guess I'm early. Anybody back there? Just kidding. I'm not singing your I don't hear the words. You can be singing all the time. Every. I'll open if you sing. A, I'll open singing. if you sing. I'll open if you sing. Every day is the Just worst day the of my life. Mr. Harper, I got some uh, fruit for breakfast. I know what you want. Do you like bananas? Mr. Harper, do you like bananas? Hello? Oh, Mr. Harper. Is that you? Mr. Harper? Mr. Harper? No, um... Hi, my name is Harris Malden. Hi, no, hi, my name... Hello, my name is Harris Malden. Hi. Hi. Hi, um... Hi, 
My name is Harris Molden. Oh. <laughs> I'm here for the interview. Uh, nice to meet you. I didn't interview. Oh. Sorry. Um, sorry if I creeped you out a little bit. I, early bird gets the worm, right? Okay. Um, here's my resume. Wrote it myself in cursive. And if you notice in red, it's my birthday that's today. Oh, well, would you look at that? Maybe you should wish me happy birthday. I don't know. <laughs> it's happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, did Mr. Harper put you up to this? Oh, no, no, no. Um, I'm, I don't have an appointment. I understand that. My friend works here. Hey, at oh, Tino, here what's up? <laughs> was Paul Levine. <laughs> I should have known. <laughs> Beat you here, buddy. Yes, you sure did. Yeah. Yes, you did. Oh, you see, you met Harris. That's, that's great. Well, I, I sort of met her. Tina, uh, was it? Yes. Uh, nice to re-meet you. <laughs> <laughs> nice Tina. to re-meet you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, Harper's not going to be in today, Harris. I'm sorry. Oh, actually, he said yeah. no. No, 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 no. Oh. He actually, yeah. I, yeah. I'm really sorry. Sorry oh, about no. that. I'm the bonehead. I thought I could just walk in here and be like, hey, I'm Harris Molden. I guess it didn't work. Well, he actually has his lead certification today. Oh. So, you know, it's like crazy no boss day at I, work. I feel like an Ooh. idiot. I see what happened. That's unprofessional. I'm, my apologies. Oh, it's cool, it's cool, but why don't we get you out of here? We'll go take a cab, get you home. Huh? We'll I just, wanted to oh. hang around for a little. Is it all right if I leave? No, no, we'll just get you home, you know? I'll walk you okay, home. Okay, nice oh, to well, meet okay. you. It was nice you. meeting everyone. Yeah, all right. Paul, Paul, Harris, what's Harris, Harris, come on. Can you get off? All right, well, that wasn't awkward. See you, Oh, bye. Come on, we gotta, yeah, sorry, buddy. No, no, you gotta keep going. Are you serious with all this? I am serious. I saw my boss in there. He's been riding me like crazy lately. Oh, is it because of the presentation? Oh, uh, just stay right here. I'll be right back. But stay here. Paul, I'm in the stairwell. Idiot. Pop, 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 pop. Derek, I need to step out for a second. Okay. okay. Hi, you know, Paul, Paul Levine's not in right now. Okay, no, I'll tell him. Yes, okay. Derek, I gotta go. If you see Susan, you tell what, him. What, trying to give me all the work again? <laughs> no, all right, guys. I will be back in a reasonable amount of time. You guys know what you have to do for uh -huh. the meeting, okay? So yes. I'm just going to. I gotta All right, take a monster. Okay, what did I tell you about doing that at work? All right, don't. Okay. Bye bye. You're gonna make me vomit. Like that. You need a girlfriend? I have one on here. A real girlfriend. She is real. We slay together. Mr. Leave me in the stairwell. Now make me wait like 25 minutes. Uh, you know what? Let's go catch a cab, huh? Cool. Yo. Come on, Paul. It's a nice day. Take a walk. You sure you don't want to take a cab? No, I mean it's a nice day, and you could use the exercise. I could use the exercise. I think I'm looking pretty slim. What are you? You're looking like really paunchy, like pom 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 Paunchy. Yeah, you look. Right. You look paunchy. Do you know the amount of calisthenics I do in the morning? You know what? I bet you that if we had a race Without. right now, I would smoke it. And that I would win. You are an individual installation. You are fantastic. Hold on, hold on. I'm Who are you? Kind of you know what? Race you. Go. What? Oh. Yes, I'm looking for a bakery or a cakeria. Yeah, no, it's a, in fill, it's a business in fit. No, it's a business in fit. No, robot? It's a business in fit. Robot, you're gonna have to have me into a person right now. Robot, I know you can take my commands. You have to patch me in to an operator right now, robot. Right now, robot. Operator, operator, operator. Hey, 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 no, no. <laughs> really? That's how you're gonna? Melvin, okay. bro, what I tell you about personal calls, don't make them at work. Come on, Petey, it's really early. Me and Dr. Dark got this whole place under. Manager, Pete. Melvin, did I ever tell you how I became manager, Pete? Yeah, a bunch of times. Did no manager Larry just sort of die and then. No, Melvin, take a look around. Yeah, I take got a look it. at these displays. Yep. I'm the best, the bomb, the shiznit. Shiz right. Two hands, two mitts, two mittens. Did it with these. Come on, Melvin, let's go. Mount up, cowboy, follow me, come on. Take a walk. Yeah, it's just sweaters. I bet. Hello, sir. No, your displays lack pizzazz. I don't know what that means, pizzazz. Oh, yeah, Ben. No, what does this say to you? Give it to me. I know you. Come on. Hey, I'm a sweater and I'm a dollar and I'm in paint on this week. Only this week only, 4th of July. 
No. Melvin? Doesn't. Listen. That was a joke. Watch the sweater, Melvin. Yep. Follow the sweater. Okay? Oh. All right? I'm a double XL full figured poly cotton blended. Who is that ferocious tiger cop? That's Melvin Malden. He has some pizzazz okay. issues. I thought you. <laughs> pizzazz, Melvin. Hey, you're making me feel really uncomfortable. Talking about sweaters, Melvin. No, Follow really, me. Like, really pizzazz. Follow the sweater. You can do it. Come on, Mel. All right? Pizzazz, Melvin. <laughs> Melvin. What did you tell her you're trying to slim down? Yeah, I told her this morning, no saturated fats. Well, your grandmother never listens. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go over to Hank's and grab some lunch. Uh, I have to get back to the firm, Harris. Oh, uh, come on, it's my birthday. I got that deadline to go to, with the curtain wall problem. Oh, I still have an issue with proportions. Come on. <sighs> Fine. I had the design all taken care of. Engineer drops a column right here. The whole composition's thrown off. See, Paul, you're just a silly little man because you can reduce the volume of the column, boom, grid's fine and dandy. That's no way. I'm telling you, I did it at the Schaefer house last summer for Bobby. I'm we can go over there and I can show you. Bet you dollars the donuts. Well, that's gonna be a lot of donuts that you owe me, isn't it? No, you would owe, you would owe me the donuts, I would owe you the dollars. All right, whatever. I don't see how it works. That's because you got a tiny little walnut brain. Oh, that guy. Hey, Hank. Hey, Harris here. I got something for your birthday. Oh. What is it? Let's just say it rhymes with the sounds of Menudo. I, don't, I have no clue what you even trying saying? to figure what? that out. Right. Found the prosciutto. Oh, hang! That was there way too obscure for no us. No way get. we would ever. Get it. <laughs> I thought you guys were architects, not idiots. Your mother's an architect. Jinx! Oh! That's what you get. for your jerk. Hey, how you doing, Harris? Hey, Paul. Hey, Ellsworth. Hey, Ruby. So am I still in charge of me pick up for the barbecue tomorrow? Mm-hmm. That's right, honey. Hey, Paul, did Elsie get those peaches I sent over? What did she, Paul? I wanna... What's the matter, Paul? You look backed up. <laughs> That's because I chased him. Oh. All right, dude, I'm sorry. Paul Levy. Oh. <laughs> uh, well, you know, I know a guy named Charlie Walters. He was jinxed from 30 some odd years. That is, I don't believe that for one second. That's ridiculous. <laughs> so are you guys busy tonight? Should we not be busy for any reason? No, I don't think so. All right, we got to get out of here. Come on, Paul Levine, stop being so oh, Finally, you such a jerk. All right, you really have to do a better job of listening, lady, okay? The cake needs to say, happy birthday, Harris. No, that's not what I said. No, I'm not calling you a lot. What would I do with a cake that says, happy birthday, Harris? No. You know what, I will, if you make hey, it, I'll purchase excuse me, I, I, no, you gotta, no, you, I will buy that cake. You'll also have to give me a second Hi. cake, though, and the second cake. One moment. Just about done. Say, happy birthday, Harris, from all of us. Uh, can I help you? Yeah, I want to buy this. This whole thing? Uh, no. You want the whole? Yeah, let's. Let me no. bring it up as mannequin. No, no. Let's see. Man, no, I ju man. just the locket, timepiece locket, please. The lock. Yes. The one with the uh, two people kissing. This is for your loved one. You want to wrap? Gift wrap? Maybe. What's your name? Let me bring it up as locket, right? We don't have locket. What is your name? Um, Gerard. You could call me. Doctor. I don't care, all right? I just want you to uh, bring up my charms. You know what? Just talk to Mel. Hairlip isn't even a common name, madam, I, okay? I'm just looking to buy this, really. Listen, I, I just really need you to get me a cake. I need you to write Happy Birthday Harris Mall on it. Put some frosting, some dumb red stuff on it. Unbelievable. Maybe put it in the fridge. If you're not dumb enough to do that, then I you're think you should perfect. really... You know what? You're really creeping me out back there. I didn't say anything. Oh, the passion, the fire. Let me ask you this question. Are you a model? No. Yes! yes! You'll be the star of my commercial. Okay, tomorrow, come to this address. I see where you're coming from. Okay, this is a big commitment. You will have to quit your job. No, I can do that. You might not see your family for a long time. I'm in. But... Hey, Peter. Yeah, I'm up. Guess what? This is! That's pretty good. You're fired. I know. Well, this boy, he is electric. Oh, boogie, woogie, woogie! Afternoon, Robert. Oh, hello, gentlemen. Hey, Bobby. What are you doing? Architecting the parking structure of the future. I'm glad you're doing that and not remembering a very special day that's happening right now. Happy birthday, birthday boy. Aw, thank you. You're welcome. Hey, look at this police car shutting down your parking garage. Boom. Oh. Police wouldn't do that, OK? Not to interrupt you guys, but I'm trying to prove a point. And where are the Schaefer House drawings? Uh, check under that box filled with, uh, Paul's Ken dolls and man mags. 
What is it, pick on Paul Day today? What's going on here? The Charles Atlas ones or the ones that smell funny? Uh, the funky smelling ones. <laughs> yeah, the biker books. There we go. Biker books, that is ridiculous. No. Right there, pal. Uh, yeah, you were right. Let me, uh, Bobby, you think I could take these to the firm for what are you Uh, doing? it's up to the birthday boy. I don't really care. What do you say? Oh, come on. Say the thing. Paul, oh, please. It's my birthday. Say the thing. You are the master and ruler of the architecture world. Thank you. Thanks. All right, I got a meeting to get to. Head back to the firm. See you, Harris. See you, Bobby. Good luck, See you, Bobby. Come back here if you get tired of making row houses. Row home. Yes. Any idiot could do that. Yeah. I don't know why he's so proud of himself. You almost caught yourself in a razor knife. <sighs> so anyway, seeing that it's my birthday, how about I take the rest of the day off? Yes, Harris, you can have the day off. Thank you. Hopefully I'll see you later. Not if I see you first. Uh-oh, bye. It's a good one. Thanks for helping me. Oh, no problem, Graham. You know, there's a party for you tonight. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be a surprise, but... You know. Don't tell Paul I told you. You know how he is about things like that. I know how he is. He's a little bit crazy about that stuff. So, Grams, on the topic of ruining surprises, what'd you get me for my birthday? Nothing. You're a 25-year-old man. Uh, Gra Grams! Oh, come on! Shh! My program's on. You better got me something. You should at least tell me. Whatever. I'm serious. Don't tell Paul I told you. Oh, yeah? Well, why don't you just tell me what I got for my birthday, then? Happy birthday. Oh. Man, you're such a jerk. <laughs> I think this project's uh, going really well, don't you think? Yeah, not too bad. Yeah, I think it's great. It's uh, great that you joined our team. But, uh, oh, his, his voicemail will get that. Don't, you don't, Susan speaking. You, you're just not supposed to be um, answering other people's... He's not his desk Susan, right now. Can I take a message? You, you should have let the voicemail oh, get... Oh, yeah. I, Susan, uh, you can't go through his things like that. We have, Four, it's in the right? handbook. You're it's open? One bedroom? Zeus. One bath? So I don't want to turn you in. Don't look through his... I don't want to turn you in, but... You're uh -huh. kind of forcing my hand here. Suze, you can't... Sure. Thank you're you. not even listening. I'll let him know. Suze? Thank you. Su Paul, we Guys. need to talk. No, it's Derek. It's... Hold on. Susan, Susan. Come on. Problem solved. You just take a gander right here. I need to ow, talk to ow, him. Ow, ow, ow. She was going through your desk. She was looking at your things. She, she found something. She, she wasn't happy about it. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. Susan, ow. Come here. It's not that I don't want you to come. You just can't come. Paul, I used to think you were mysterious. Now you're just kind of creepy. I am not creepy. We're supposed to look at apartments this weekend. And I still haven't met your best friend. Look, I told you about the apartments. I have to clear it up with Graham's in the house. I haven't met your best friend yet. She's in Africa, and you know that. Mm. This is weird. Our relationship is weird. Can you please just deal with this after the meeting, please? I just, there's a lot you don't know about Harris, and I just... I'll wear something really cute. Okay, no, listen, no, stop. Not at work, okay? I just, mm. <laughs> just please don't come to the party, please, for me. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. No, see, that sounds like you're coming to the party. We'll no, please to... don't come. No, mm -hmm. no, don't come to the party. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, Dan. Just catching up on buildings. Love them. Buildings are good. Huh? How you doing? <laughs> oh, God, no. Going over to your place. Wait 10 or 12 minutes and then follow me on over. Okay. And don't forget to act surprised. I know I'm surprised. My hair. All right, everyone, everyone, come on, he's here, he's here. God, Grams, come on. All right, everyone, shh, shh, shh. Come on, come on. Surprise! <laughs> oh. Five years old, man. Oh, you, guys, you guys shouldn't have. Cousin Jay! Snap your cousin on it. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh,
Word. Long time no see. Uncle <laughs> Moses, I did not expect to see you. Hey, oh, Hank the Butcher, you are outrageous. Hey there, Bunny Boo. I remember you. Hey, Jace. Hey, Paul, how's it going? It's, it's, it's going okay. Heard you wanted to see me? Yeah, yeah. I wanted to talk to you about a birthday song that I've been working on in Maine. When you walk by, do you notice anything smells funny when I walk? Yeah. No, no, that's ridiculous. I do we just can't, come on. There's only one way to settle it. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Ooh, there was a dog. <laughs> <sighs> but seriously, I didn't know whales got depressed. Oh, Charlie Walters tells me it happens all the time. Charlie Walters a doggone fool. We want a happy birthday, Harris Malden from Paul. All right, first that's, of all, it doesn't rhyme. No, and it, it's, second of all, it's crap. You're rhyming Malden with Malden, that's Th not that That's good. his name, First Paul. Place. Right before I got, came to the party, this whole guy died. And I couldn't get any blood drainage, and I'm kind of trying to get it out, and I'm pumping and pumping. What are you she, telling me this? You know I'm not interested. I don't you try to tell it. it to me all the time. Please don't do it. it, it, it it's gross. Goodbye. This is a duet. I do my job, and you do your job. Right, and your good. job is the accordion. Hey, hey, man. I didn't mean to snobby there when I came in. No, I was, I was surprised. You know, I was surprised know, to see I, you. I, I, and Uncle Moses, he looks great. The guy looks crazy. Yeah. Crazy. He's been doing, you know, his whole thing. Are you all right? Man, I've had a... i just been wanting to talk to you. Um, I know. Yeah, my voicemail's been full. It's, Happy birthday, man. Happy birthday. It's a party. We're all having a good time, yeah. huh? <laughs> <laughs> all right. He's up off the sauce. Paul's outside, right? Paul's outside, huh? Okay. Turn it right, pal. Hey, Jace. Melvin! Hey, Paul. Was my cousin acting weird in there? If by weird you mean drunk, then <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pretty weird. Yeah. I think I might have had a little bit too much. <laughs> he was battered. Hey, pal. Thanks a lot for the party. Oh, yeah. One of your better ones, I'll give you that. Thank you. Thank you. So I had kind of a crazy idea the other day. Was, what if I, uh, oh, yeah? Hit me with it. What, what if, I, what what if I, I don't know, I was thinking maybe I would, you know, move out of Graham's house, go live in the city. Like seriously? Or? I, you know, it was just like a hypothetical sort of situation. Why would you want to move? I, I don't know. I mean, we grew up here, everything we know is here. Ruby and Ellsworth, <laughs> and remember, that's where you learned to ride a two-wheeler, and we used to play stickball in the street. I, 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 you know, it's stupid. It was, it's stupid for me to say. I mean, what are you going to do without me? It's not without you, Harrison. I'm always bailing you out, pal. <laughs> that's true. Now what, why don't we go see what Hank's doing, huh? Uh, oh, Hank. Come on, come on, we'll go see Hank. Yeah, he's probably covered in sweat by now, the marathon <laughs> man himself. Whoa, oh, oh, Hank, get in on this. Whoa. Oh, no, Hank, he's ruining the game. Here, where's Bobby? I thought he was coming. He told me he was going to come, I don't know. You want a beer? Uh, Do you I got a jet. Beer? Yeah, I don't think he needs a beer. Hey, Hank, where are you going? No, where I got to go, going? man. I got to go. You got the cake yet. I got to eat a piece of cake in about 20 minutes. Why don't you just bring her over? Not the kind of girl you want to have around family and friends, guys. That is gross, Hank. Oh! Excuse me. Not at all. That is the Melvin I want to see more of. I mean, I know, because I'm more attractive than you are. It's well, pure, it's, it's I'm, mathematics. I'm, I'm, it's like when you went to school. Symmetry. Man model. Oh, I didn't even... Ooh, hot little biscuit. Oh, Dibs, yeah. jinx. Oh, my... You can't talk to your friends or family. That is a really sequency shirt. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying I like it or I don't like it. Yeah. I don't know why. Guess who? Guess who what? Oh, my God, no. Surprise! Oh, no. You're not supposed to be here. Why don't, what are you doing? Uh, don't be such a jerk. I'm not being don't a jerk. Don't listen we to We talked him. about this. Hi, Elsie. Oh, How are you? Festive. <laughs> what is Oh, no! Oh, 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 just, Susan, just stay right here with Graham. Susan, do me a favor, please. Sure. Close your eyes and count from one to a hundred. Okay, um, one. Look, Ellsworth, if you burn that meat one more time. Burn? That meat was not burned, it was just extra crispy. Crispy? You turned it to charcoal, man. Mm -hmm. And every time you do that, you every time. It. You, who what? do you think you uh, are? But, King of the grill? Well, look, 
Cause I'm what? a lady over there, you know her? No, hi, hi sweetie. Hi. She's hi. lovely, but don't try to change the subject. No. Back to the change oh, uh, the subject. Oh, hey guys, hey. I, I see that you met my girlfriend yeah. Susan over here, but what? Sort of. Hey, Jason Malden. I'm actually really. Hey, how you doing? I'm fine. How are you? I'm a model. For what? Uh, actually, not sure yet. But you're pretty impressed, well, I can tell. I, I actually, I met her at work, and, 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 and I don't know, kids? I just... Well, how long are we looking for kids? So how about me and you, we get out of here, and we go, it's kind of hot, let's go outside, walk, stargate, we can hold hands, interlocking yeah, styles, and really, really, really Where'd you meet her? Where'd you meet her? Well, just oh, having a good time. What, it's up to you, really. Uh, you... Yeah? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> no, I felt it too. Yeah. Yeah, just, what? Uh, Is she going to stay around this time? Oh, uh, no. Harris? Yeah, uh, no. You have something on your face. Hi, I'm Harris Malden. This is my birthday party. Um. Yeah, we just met. Hitting off pretty well. We're probably going to fall in love. <gasps> <gasps> Rams, what you... Oh, hey, guys. I see you met Susan. That's good. Yeah. Susan. You should totally chat it up at some point, but I can I just see you over there for just one second? Just alone? Okay. <laughs> just, Melvin thinks that he jinxed me and that I'm jinxed, but he said my name. No, he's cheating. Think, wait, wait, wait. Whoa, that depends if you're playing West Coast or East Coast jinx roles. Uncle oh. Moses has a good point. Well, wait, did, he, did you say the name clearly? He had this thing happen when he was young. What thing? It was an accident, okay? He can't grow his facial hair. <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> not no, seriously, it's not funny. You're laughing at a burn victim. <laughs> No, the fire. We don't talk about the fire. Harris can't leave the neighborhood. He can't go through the park, and he can't go to Center City. That's where the big buildings are. What are you talking about, Paul? When Harris was five, there was a fire on his birthday. His dad died. His mom put on the mustache to cover up the scar. You are smiling. You're not innocent. serious. I'm serious as soup. Oh. This is the reason why I didn't want you to come to the party. Well, I think that somebody needs to say something to him. No, there's too much to tell you right now. Look, would, would you just let it go? It right. is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. Just let it be. Just let it be. Just let it be. Susan, just let it be. Let it be. All right, we're going to go. <laughs> hey, what's going on, buddy? Hey, so this is where the party got to. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. I got a joke. I got a joke. What did the boat say to the dinghy? What did it say? Don't be a dinghy! <laughs> How drunk are you, Jason? <laughs> That's pretty bad. It's my cousin. He's an idiot. Oh, an idiot. idiot. Hey, everybody, get together for a quick developing picture. Oh, sure thing. Harris, I have a question for you. Just a small little question. Oh. Shoot. Why do you drink your beer with a straw? Mm. So he doesn't get beer up in his beard. Yeah, that is correct. Is. That is correct. Huh? Right there. Oh. You do not know how much that sucks. Right. We're, we're in the middle of a high five. Like, yeah, it was just a little weird. This conversation. Melvin, Melvin, you're going to mess with Pixar off. Melvin, it's not. Melvin, what do you think? Paul, I need to talk to you. Really? You have to listen to me and then stop talking so that you can listen to me. This is not the right thing. No, really. No, really. No. Uh oh. Is that my Kate? Is that my Kate? Harris, come on in. Sit down. Uh -oh. Oh, oh, Melvin! Oh, Melvin, did you order this cake? Oh, oh. oh. Well, let me get Jason. Okay. Melvin, excuse really me, great ladies. Cake, buddy. Excuse me, ladies. <laughs> okay, oh, who goodness. loves you? That's right. No. <laughs> no. no. Yeah. Crazy. I went to look like an idiot. And all the, no. Oh. One, two, one, oh. two, three. Oh. Happy birthday, Harris Malden, from your cousin Jason Malden. Happy birthday, Harris Malden. We all love you, Harris Malden. Oh. You fake your mustache. Susan, we have to go right now. Come with me, please. Harris, I... No, please, just go. Go to bed. That's where I'd be if it was my birthday. <laughs> I'd go to bed. All alone. Go to bed. Right, Dad? I go to bed pretty much every night. That's right. Alone. Content on your happy, happy birthday. Excuse me. Happy birthday, honey.
My head really looked this way. Melvin, big. please. It just came out of my mouth. I mean, I've never seen anybody with a mustache like that. And the song you guys were singing? I didn't even know that you played an accordion, Paul. You drive here? Yeah. Are you guys screwing? Can I come down? Are you guys screwing down there or can I come down and get my foot cream? Loves him anyway. Sunglasses. Good morning, Alvin. How's Harris doing? I'm doing all right. I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm professional, so don't worry. Professional what? No, where, where's Harris, Melvin? I don't know. He's like shaving or something. Shaving? No. Hey, here they are. Maybe... What? Oh, by the way, Susan? Yesterday? I said, let's go to the movies. She didn't really get back to me. So next time you're with her, don't push it. Plant the seed. Let me know what she says, OK? Well, then, she is my girlfriend. I don't... What an idiot. Today, as opposed to yesterday. Today's a great day, actually, and mm. yesterday was a day as well that was good. Yeah, okay. Hi, Harris, hey. honey. You sure you're okay? Thank you for helping me with breakfast, Elsie. Oh, no problem. I just feel really bad about what I said last night. Look, you said what had to be said. Yeah, but I hope I don't lose Paul over it. Don't worry. My grandson may be a bonehead, but he's crazy about you. Yeah, he is. The sweetest pain in my butt. Just sometimes I feel like a stranger and his weird. Good morning. Bonehead. No, don't get breakfast. We made you some. Hey, Hammerhead, did you see my shoes? No. Who do you think you're talking to with that boy? Oh, come on, get some of Mom's coat. No, I don't. <sighs> Grams, you check next to the couch. Well, I don't know who'd put shoes next to a couch. Oh, we need that. What, you're not gonna eat our breakfast? We spent a long time making it. Mm -hmm. What, you're not talking to me now? Gramps, tell Susan I don't talk to people who ruin other people's lives. So what the hell are you two talking about over there? They're my shoes! Who put them on the table? I told you it's bad luck to put shoes on a table. Uh, put them on the table. He looked ridiculous. You know what looks ridiculous? You look ridiculous. Ah. You're an asshole, Paul. 
Susan, do you mind helping me with my shoes, please? Not at all. I'm out of this house. Yes, you are out of this house because we're going to look for apartments today. No way I'm going to see an apartment today! This place just fills with light. You can this place just room. fills with dumb. Stairs are brand new. See, Susan, this is what I was talking about. I don't want a place with stairs. I want a subterranean with escalators moving stairs. Well, you don't want to live anywhere else but Franklin Street. No, so that's not true. This place is kind of gross. Look at it. You really want to poop in that bathroom? I don't. I know you don't. Susan, you're a designer. Yes, I am. Good to go. Did you hear that, Paul? Just a coat of paint or two, cover it right up. You know what? Sometimes that's what's best for the situation, honey. That's what I would do. Just a little bit of paint. Sometimes what's best for the situation is just to, I don't know, tear down the wallpaper, start over with a new boyfriend. No, don't do that. Why would you say it's not nice? This place is a dump. See, Graham well, agrees with me. I know it needs a little me. work, but you know, with a little time and, and money, money, right? Got a crazy idea. Let's just tear down the walls, ruin the whole house. Well, no, you what? don't want to do that. The walls are structurally sound. Pookie, that sounds like a wonderful idea. I'll bring the sledgehammer. Oh, well, we all know you'd be perfect for the job, wrecking ball. Well, let's continue on with the tour, shall Did we? Think they're I, arguing. I don't care what, you know what? they're doing. Maybe I, I can't be with so someone who's so quick to smash in a wall and disrespect the house that I live in with me and my friends. Well, maybe I can't be with somebody who's delusional. Whatever. Child. So, what'd you think? Hello? Yeah, yeah, I'm on. I'm dealing with an issue at the front door, a weird blue shirted issue. How uh, you doing? I'm Melvin Malden here for the commercial. I didn't understand one word you just said. You gotta slow it down. You gotta slow it down. Go for Dusty? Yeah, yeah, I'm on this. I'm, I, t I told you I was on this. Can I help you, seriously? Yeah, Frederick sent me, I'm Mel Malden, I'm the... You are a mushmouth mumbler, my friend. When you oh. talk, all I hear is blah, 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 blah. I need to hear words if I'm gonna get a response from me. Yeah, go for Dusty. Yeah, the coffee is coming. I am on it. I'm gonna rock and roll that. The coffee is not upstairs. Everyone's like, where's my coffee? Where's my coffee? Where's my coffee? They need the dust man. Okay, no, no, you gotta stop. No, not listening to showbiz doesn't stop, my friend. When today's up. Independence Day, we didn't stop for that. We cannot stop for you. Go for Dusty. Hey, headset. Did a pretty bad job of communicating back there. I want to chill out sleeveless, all right? Sleeveless. Because I communicate like a champion, so mm -hmm. just hang. Hey, girls. Elsa, Ursula, how are you? Hello. How is you doing? Hot. You're hot. Yeah, there's so many degrees outside, and no. It is so much hot outside, Cares what no? he cares about. Do you girls know Frederic? I'm the new <gasps> model. Is he? He's not a model. The one? Definitely <laughs> not. Definitely not. Oh, come with me, you studly man creature. It's like a fun train. I'm a studly man creature too. Oh, bring him in. My aunt Dave Ferocious Tiger Cup sitting right down there. What? Hello, babies. Make this man sparkle. Dusty. Dusty, get in here. Get Melvin our star, whatever he wants. What do you need, Nelson? I don't know, whatever. This is the greatest hair I've ever seen. <clears throat> really? I mean, I guess. <laughs> Cindy, maybe. touch the hair. It's so soft. Yeah, he probably conditioned. Of course he conditioned. Yeah, of course he does, right, Melvin? I actually do condition. I use a little bit of olive oil when it's not all the time with olive oil, but when in season, I do. Then I use a little bit of foam on the sides. I like the feathering effect. You're about to make fun of me. You probably wear a dress too, don't you? Yep. Dusty, that's so homophobic. Yeah, that is so inappropriate. And you guys are sensitive. Dusty, shouldn't you be getting water or something? Milty, what do you want in your water? I don't know, like a lemon, whatever. Oh. I don't know. Actually, no. no ah, whatever. So gorgeous. No more modesty. Yeah, Melvin, modesty is really lame. You're a star. Start acting like one. Ooh. What was that? What did you just do? Shooting star. Oh, yes! That's good. You really like the hair, though? I, I love it. Oh, I just want to make sure you mm -hmm. like it. <laughs> you can keep touching it. Hey, Orpo Marx. Happy Independence Day. How you doing, Hank? Good, buddy. How you feeling? I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, I'm just here to pick up the Saunders barbecue meats, that's all. Okay, yeah, I got some great stuff from my wholesale distributor. Great party last night. Great party. Hank, it wasn't a party. Nobody forgets a party like that. 
Good drinks, laughs, great party. Hank, it's really funny because I can't seem to remember the party you're talking about. See, I would remember a party if there was a party, but I don't remember attending a party. It's slipping my mind right now. There probably wasn't a party at all. I don't remember it. What are you talking about, pal? How about you just give me those meats? Here you go, Harrison. Tell those worth if you pay me when you see you next time. Sure thing. Something happened at that party after I left? I went to bed, Hank. That's what you do on your birthday. You go to bed. You're all right, Harris. Gotta go. Harris. I think that boy's on a mission. Mm -hmm. Now, down the hall is the recreation area. We have a nice little gym, and we have an indoor pool, Mrs. Levine. A pool? Hey, but you better watch out when you have a bikini. Oh, stop it. I'm here to tell you, when these old timers get a look at you, I might have to hire some extra guys just to keep them off of you. Who says I want to keep them off? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mr. Levine, is everything OK? Everything's fine, Mr. Ben. Having girl problems? A little bit. Don't worry about it. Keep your head up. They call me Big Ben, by the way. All right, Mr. Big Ben. They call you Big Ben because you're so big? No, because I like European clock towers. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these arms, they're like Christmas hams. And you know what? I love ham. There is a slight chance that I overreacted today. I'm debating whether or not to apologize. I'm leaning more towards no. You're ridiculous. Oh, come on. Think about Harris. I'm not trying to keep you out. I'm trying to help him. After the fire and his dad and the scars. You know how you put cover up on a zit? Are you saying I have a zit? No. Well, actually, you do have one right oh, there, but. Shut up. No, the fake mustache, that's like cover-up, okay? Odd as it seems, it helps him cope. Yeah, but it's the exact opposite of cover-up. Well, it wasn't until last night. What are you gonna do when you can't protect him anymore? I told his mom I'd help him. I gotta do what's right. Yeah, I'll figure it out. <gasps> lost your grandmother. What do you mean you lost her? She just ran so fast, I couldn't believe it. Did she ask you to count to 100? Hey, Bobbo. Hey. I'm sorry I missed the party, buddy. I had to let the cleaning lady out. You missed a really special party, Bobby. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, you missed a very special birthday gift. Boy of the month, right? Yeah. Better you than Paul, huh? Oh, yeah. What are you doing? I don't want to break your frame, because I know your mom got you these. And I know that you like them a lot, but I'm really mad at you anyway. If I'm so good, then why am I still an apprentice and Paul's a registered architect? Just calm down, Harris, okay? Do you think anything holding me back? No. Are you staring you right in the face? No. On my face? No. About my lip? So I'm staring you right in the face. Right here! Okay, I'm sorry. Is that for me? Yeah. Thanks a lot, Bobby. Harris! Hey! I'm not the only one around here who didn't talk about it. That's fine, woman. Oh, no, that's fine. Look, look, look. This is freedom of the rib day, man. Leave me alone. You're gonna burn it up, man. Oh, take it off. Just take it off. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, Harris, how about a rib? <laughs> Melvin, you look great. No, I, Melvin. Yeah. You, you look do? amazing. I know, I, I can feel yeah. it. I can... Water for my man Melvin here. Oh, thank you. And a kiss for each of you ladies. Mwah, mwah. Where are you going? Oh, you guys are still my uh, girls. Don't worry about it. Uh, forgot the lemon. You did not ask for a lemon. Yes, I did. Back there. If I you asked for one, know where a lemon would be? Right in that glass. I asked for a lemon. Can you please get me a lemon? I can get it for you if you really want one. I don't want it to be a thing, though. I know how these things turn out to be things. I don't want this one to be a thing. Let me tell you something. No thing, you will have your lemon, okay? Okay, no thing? No thing at all. Thing? 
Melvin wants a lemon. Sounds like it's gonna be a thing though, the way he just said that. Hey, oh, how you, you look good enough to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear what he said though? What? If Melvin wants a lemon, Melvin should be able to get a lemon. Yes, yes. But you're a little lemon tart. Oh, but you're a little yeah, lemon tart too. Well, you guys lemon are tart. such lemon tarts. <laughs> <laughs> He's, he's behind me. Okay, Melvin, Melvin. There's a wild dragon behind you. Okay, okay. He's, he's very, so angry. I got a punch, right? Oh. Okay, Melvin, more. Give me more. You have to fight this wild dragon. He's shooting fireballs at you from the biggest volcano right so at I, you. I don't know whether to duck or not. I don't... Duck. Up duck. Build it, build it, build it, build it, build it. I know it's a rehearsal, right, but keep I mean, pushing. I'm having Come a very on. hard time visualizing this, Frederick. Okay, I want to see the gum of your teeth. Let's go for it. Right arm, left arm. Come on. Go and go. Yeah. Come on. Oh, 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 How do you feel? Come on, come on. I hope that matches the tone of the computer graphics. Fantastic. And it was fabulous. I feel, I feel pretty speed wonderful. Speed fire! What? Speed fire! I thought it was over though. What? Why? It, it is sort of over. Okay. Hey, honey, get up off your rusty dusty and get me some ice. Okay, I'm gonna be right there with it. Just wait a minute. Just, just give me a chance. I've been ah. working hard. I think there's something seriously wrong with that boy. Uh-huh. Starting to worry me, too. from the other day. Yeah. What's wrong with my face? The mustache. There is no wrong. You, my friend, are a bold manifestation of all that is right with man presenting a canvas to the natural world, standing in stark defiance of the shallowness, the hollowness, the emptiness of man's imposed superficiality against Mother Nature. I can't take anything you say seriously. Oh, no, no, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. I'm sorry. Is there anything wrong with my face? No. Yes, sweaty, gross, black thing. Hey, uh, Susan, you get those groceries for me, please? Sure. What do you mean you're stuck? Um, it's the orange What are we going to do about yeah, Harris? What? No, Graham's the orange button. You press it. What are we going to do about oh. Harris? I just figured you'd never talk to him again, ever. Oh, that's going to solve the problem. Yeah, come on. I just wish that you would help your friend. What? Mm -hmm. I've been helping the kid his whole life. In fourth grade, I convinced him swimming was dumb. I haven't been in a pool in like 15 years. Okay, then. Where are you going? I'm going to apologize. No, Susan, Susan, no, wait. Susan, wait, no. Paul. Maybe you should just wait here. Friend? Hey Harris, what's going on? There you are, my friend. And Susan, dear sweet Susan. Hi Harris, I wanted to apologize for last night. What I said at your birthday party, I think I said something that All was- All right, that's enough Susan. She's been under a lot of stress at work recently, so you know. Oh, you don't have to make excuses, Paul. You made my birthday fun. You made it special, Susan. It was a special birthday. Harris, I'm really sorry. I, I didn't mean any of that. I... Oh, you have nothing to worry about, Susan. You're not the one who's been lying to me my whole life. Hey, what are you trying to say, buddy? I'm talking to Susan, liar. Come on, Susan, let's go. Harris is busy building a birthday fort. Yeah, Paul, like the forts we used to build when we were still friends. 
Harris, we're still friends, even though you're being an ass. What'd you say? Don't get mad at me for things Susan said. She has a tiny girl brain. She can't understand things like we can. Paul. Ow. Baby, I'm sorry. I said some things I didn't mean. Paul, it has nothing to do with what Susan said. You've been lying to me my whole life. I've done nothing but protect you. This table where we eat many a meal together, lies. Harris. This house is built of lies. I have exhibit A right here to show you just how much I mean you're alive. This is you. I did it with crayon and cardboard. And it says liar on your shirt if you can read it. What's the matter, Paul? You can't look a liar in the face. Just say it. Say it. You really want to do this? You fake your facial hair! Where did you guys go? <laughs> And every day gets a little bit better, but nothing can take away pain off from me. Cause with the Browns, guess what, Graham? From the This is weird. This is beyond bad. I'm gonna go out back and flank them. Pretty sure it's gonna work itself out. Get in there! Alright, guys, come on, really, let's wrap this up. Look like I'm into rooster. I put my life on hold for you! No one asked you to! Your stupid mother dad! Don't talk about this mother fault! Not doing it. Ah, really doing it? Murder! Come on! Well, no more cherry bombs. Those fingers aren't gonna grow back, you know. I hate the 4th of July. Little Melvin Molden has a big boo-boo, huh? Does Melvin want a toy for being such a big hey, boy, Hey, huh? Mr. Whale. Huh? You don't have to talk to me like that, Doc. I'm a grown man. Well, Melvin, maybe it's time you went to a grown man doctor, huh? Oh, come on. I've been coming to you my whole life. I know. All right, just come back in a couple of weeks. We'll get these stitches out. I want to put stitches inside my head? You were there when I did it. Oh, I'm so terrified. Melvin, you have a mild concussion. Be sure not to touch or remove the gauze for about 12 hours. If you experience persistent headache, dizziness, irritability, or change in vision, make sure to give someone a call. You may be unable to control your emotions. Oh, I'm out of here. Why are you walking away? You're leaving while I'm talking. Oh, it's over. Hey, Duck Duck. Nice shoes, Samantha. They, they light up. They your big head. Yeah, they did, Elsie. Take me home, please. I want to go home. Oh, you look just like the sheik of Arabic. That's gonna turn out well. Next! Oh, I think I'm really deformed underneath this thing, Harris. I can't believe my days as a Playboy television commercial model are over. I tasted fame. I tasted so good. It's because we're freaks, Melvin. We're freaks cast away from society. But it's all right, because we're gonna move into the sewers tomorrow morning. You think the sewer uglies would take us into their nest? They're 10,000 strong, but with two more, they'd be 10,000 too stronger. We could even rise in the ranks and take them over. I think you're getting ahead of yeah, yourself. Yeah, I think I'm getting ahead of myself, too. I was out of line. Why'd you build this, Harris? Uh, after my birthday, I was pretty upset. Oh. Here you go, big baby. Thanks. You took a fight. Oh. Over. Ow! I'm hurt. you believe that guy after all the things I'd done for him? Mm. Like lie to him his whole life? Yes. He should appreciate what I've done. I'm going to have to burn down his house. Oh, that is not nice. It is. It's fine. Hi, kids. Paul, you didn't go apologize yet? What? No, he threw that cardboard thing in my face. You should apologize to me. <sighs> You're like two years old. Ow. At least I'm not ugly. Shut up, Paul. You shut up. What are you making? That's favorite. What's that? Fried peanut butter and banana sandwiches. Why don't you use the burner? Because that would involve using fire, Melvin. 
Yeah, I guess the toaster is actually a pretty good call. So what was dad like? He was pretty all right. I mean, he was better than mom. <laughs> she was a nut. Remember that time she took us to Atlantic City? Yeah, we went in the winter. So we couldn't even go to the beach. <laughs> she locked us in the room while she played slots the whole time. Kaplank, kaplank, kaplank. Long, 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 loser. <laughs> That's all that one you had to do. Remember we played with the Mega Blocks? Yeah, we made that three-story floor with all the little guys on top. Yeah, I still got them downstairs. Yeah, the little guys? No, I had the Mega Blocks though. Yes. Oh, come here. Paul, there's fireworks, look. Hey kids, are you fooling around? <laughs> no, Elsie. What's up? <laughs> Nothing. I just wanted to say good night. Oh, good night. Good night. Um, Elsie, what did you think about the car note we saw today? Oh, that was too old farty for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the name was kind of lame. Yeah, Whispering Pine. <laughs> um, you don't hate me because I'm trying to move in with Paul, do you? No, honey, no. Sweetheart, look at him. He's 26 years old. It's about time someone lit a fire under his ass. I just don't want you to feel like I'm trying to steal your grandson away from you. Oh, not at all. And if you are, I'm glad it's you. <laughs> well, I'll make sure that when we lock you up into your institution, we come visit you at least once a week. <laughs> Please. <laughs> if I wind up there, you have to come and open the window and I'll jump out. Okay, deal. Uh -huh. <laughs> Look at Hammerhead. I don't know what he did to deserve such a sweet girl like you. Maybe it's all those years he had to put up with me. Now he's getting a break. Oh, he's not getting a break. That's a girl! <laughs> <laughs> um, you're a good Grandma Grams. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Good night, sweetheart. Good night. Good night, Hammerhead. You know, I am still kind of awake. I heard most of what you said. Mm -hmm. It's very funny. Yeah. You guys, you guys are funny. Very funny. I was, uh, was kind of a jerk today. Yes, you were. Can you forgive me, though, a little bit? Of course I do. Oh. Yeah, I, did. I just, I got a lot of stuff I gotta sort out. I know. I love you. Tickle monster. Tickle monster. Tickle monster. What about blowjob monster? <laughs> You're such a bird. Oh, come on. Come here. Melvin. Oh. Melvin, wake up. You have your shoot. Wake up. There is. I told you I'm not going. I'm deformed. You can't let something like that hold you back. Oh, well, what do you want me to do? I know, it seems a little bit crazy, but I think you have enough hair. We'll just fill in the spot and it'll be fine. You think it'll work? Well, we can give it a shot. Yeah, let's do it. Something on your face. Get off me. So listen up, Elsa. Um, I see that you put me in the friend zone, and that's fine and dandy, as they say, but I kind of wanted to keep this more romantic. So I just, quite frankly, I just can't care about your interests or your shoes or where you want to go on vacation. <gasps> I just care about your body. I cannot wait to show you our new outfits. Really? I want to see them. That's fun. Hey there, superstar. What? Oh, Let me tell okay. you a little story about this morning. I was driving to work, yep. and I saw myself a lemon tree, and it was shining in the morning new light. Really? Honestly? Yeah, a lemon tree. And I got out of my car, and I climbed that lemon tree, and I picked every little lemon off that tree just that's, for my favorite celebrity. That's pretty nice. Yeah, and that's it. I think I'm going to get you a lemon water. If you, if you, would you like that? I would, actually. You would? Yeah. yeah. What are you looking at? You, I'm nope. looking at something, and it looks like you really, really need that lemon water, my friend. Thank you. You're welcome. You know, I misjudged him. I think we're going to be fine. Best buds in about a... Oh, wow. <laughs> Is that for you? Mm-hmm. Wow, I'd, I'd hate to wear something like this. <laughs> well, it would look silly on you. Yeah. There's Melvin. <laughs> Melvin? Oh, I just want to clip off a lock of that mane and eat it for dinner. Oh, I know. I have never seen hair like that. It's like a <laughs> fountain of follicles 
sprouting out of his head. <laughs> I just want to touch it. <laughs> Melvin, hey Melvin, come here. Hey, how you doing? Yeah. Notice you guys were talking about my hair. Mm -hmm. Same as yesterday, pretty much the same thing. I mean, nothing's changed really, right? You can't tell the difference. <laughs> oh, we love. <laughs> oh, that's good. It stinks about your hair, though, but besides that. That's why you're the star, babe. Hi, Melvin. This hey. is for you, a lemony tree for me to you, the dust man. This is a lot of lemons. I don't know if you're being serious or not. Oh, I'm serious. I've never been more serious in my life. It's kind of a peace offering from my heart to your heart. Okay, I think you misunderstood what I was saying. No, I didn't. We're cool now. We're cool. But watch what I do next. Ladies, can you guys look here? Thanks. Just look right here in the eye. Our friend Melvin here. What are you doing? He has a hole in his head. No, 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 no. That's right. Take a gander at that. He is grotesque. I thought you said it wasn't going to be a thing. Oh, it's a thing. It's a thing. I lied to you. Yes. Hi, Colin. Oh, hey, Susan. Cardboard, cardboard, cardboard. Did you choose the one you want? Paul. What? I'm sorry, what? Are you okay? I'm just really confused right now. You know, people sometimes fight with their best friends now and then. Can't believe I got in a fist fight with Harris. No, he might have won. What? No way. I got a couple good punches in there. I know how to fight. i fight a guy right now. I don't know. You yeah. two fight like little girls. What? Probably beat you up, though. Your little skinny girl arms. I don't know. I'll have to see what the monster says about that. Guys, you're making me uncomfortable. No PDA, please. Oh, he seriously needs a girlfriend. Sorry, Derek. So you're finally moving off the block, huh? Paul didn't have the balls to do it, so I figured I'd lend him a hand. Well, we grew up on Franklin Street. Well, there's a lot more out there than Franklin Street has to offer. Yeah, I'm starting to realize that. You only get one crack at life. So don't get hung up. Everybody gets hung up. Just try shaking things up a bit. You know, I remember when you and Paul were kids and you used to play out here on the street. Now look at you. You've grown into be a handsome young man. You don't need to hide it. What's done is done. Melvin, Melvin, Melvin. Gow! <gasps> Where is Melvin Malden? Let me spell it out for you. Where is Melvin Malden? Has anybody seen Melvin Malden? Okay, take five and I want Melvin right back here. Chop, 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 chop. Let's go, let's go. Don't look at me. What was that? Oh, nothing. What am I gonna do? Oh wow, it fits so nice. What am I gonna do? Okay, what am I gonna do? Nope, don't know what that is. Okay. Oh, this one's for you, Petey. Pizzazz. Oh, Melvin, 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 yeah, that's true. Why don't you come sit down and have a cup of coffee with me? I don't know. I still got some more cleaning to do. Yeah, come wait. Come on. Have some coffee. All right. I'm going to take a little bit of a break, right? Yeah. Um, Elsie. Why'd you let my mommy do it? Why'd everybody let her do it? You know how we are around here. We don't butt into other people's business. And besides, we thought you'd feel better. It did make me feel better. I mean, I was happy and I had good times. and I, I just feel like I'm still talking about those good times and everyone else is trying to move on to something new. I don't, I'm not a relic, okay? I'm not a monument. I'm not a statue on Franklin Street of Harris Malden. I mean, that's how I feel sometimes. You shouldn't feel that way. Everybody loves you. You know, you've brought the whole neighborhood together. Oh, Elsie, come on. Everyone's leaving the neighborhood. And not that that's a bad thing. I mean, things are changing. Paul's moving on. You're moving on. Melvin's doing all right. 
but that makes me wonder. I mean, what's gonna happen to me? Maybe it's time for you to move on. I don't know. Maybe it is. You think so? It's not so hard. <laughs> <laughs> Do I look stupid or? No, you look wonderful. You're very handsome. I look like a chimney sweep with all this black stuff on. No, you look like Emmett Kelly. Is that, I don't know that is. He's a Krabs. clown, you know, the bum. Cribs, you do realize I was born in like the last 25 years. Oh, but he's famous. He's famous. Yeah, famous clown. So I look like a sideshow clown. Melvin, my boy, we were about to replace you with a computer-generated giraffe. Okay, everybody, just like yesterday at rehearsal. Everybody to places. And... Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Stop! What the? Yes, yep. Okay, oh. Mm. You. You. I don't understand. What uh, happened? Yeah, I'm sorry. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. I'm no, really embarrassed. No, no, I'm gonna no, go no, right no, now. no. Several long times ago, when the universe was created, stars were being made from significant intergalactic pressure. Today, a new star has been born. A new star has been born! 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 A new star! Hey guys, say it! I don't even know who it is! Join me, Melvin! I will join, join me, you. Melvin! I will join you! Are you ready to embrace all of Latin America with your I beauty? Am so ready! Your charisma and your understanding of all the hair care products. <laughs> I bet you didn't see that coming. I still hate you. Yeah, go get me a lemon. <laughs> oh, I don't want that to be a Melvin the God. I did the Playboy commercial TV actor back on! We are in the rooster den! Cat house. Cat house? Lion's den? High clean, that's good. Harris! I'm gonna be able to buy that blimp I always want to live in! Are these the pieces you were looking for? Yeah, that's, that's great, thanks. Mm -hmm. Susan speaking. Paul, giant emergency. This is not Paul. No, Melvin, it's Susan. Hey, pretty lady, gotta talk to Paul. Big, oh, big boy stuff here. Paul, it's Melvin. Mm -mm, not right now. Sorry, yeah. Melvin. Paul's really busy right now. He has no time. Yeah, I know, but get, get him on the phone, though. Uh, Harris is gone. Harris is gone. Um, Paul, Melvin says Harris is missing. Just tell him I can't do it right oh. now. It's just too busy. There's oh, no way he's that busy. Melvin, get him shut up. Phone. Susan, tell him. This is one of those things you got to tell Paul. He has to do, because I don't really know what to do in the situation. All right, tell him. 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 All right, tell him. Tell him that. Tell him. 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 What do you want me to tell him? Just tell him my future rides on this presentation. I can't. Same tools the other day. Okay. His head suit's gone. Oxygen papers are gone. I'm pretty sure he's headed to the office. Okay. Stop. You too. Listen, Melvin. We don't have time for this. Melvin says Harris is on his way. What do you want me to do? Paul. Just let him come. I don't know if you told him since I dropped the phone. This is very Sorry, bizarre. Melvin, you're gonna have to take care of this one on your own. Have a good day. Bye. Are you telling him right now? I can't. What do you want me to do? Ah! Hello? It's not the right one. Hero time. I was looking at my apartment and it's really bare. Ooh, you know what? You should get an armoire. Yeah, like a really cute antique one. You know, I know a really good place. Excuse me, sir! You cannot go in there! Shot in the dark. You've seen my brother. I don't know who you are. How would I have seen your brother? I'm Melvin Malden. My face is probably on, like, every billboard in the entire city mm, right now. Doesn't ring a bell. Okay, back to my brother. 
He has hair, combs it sometimes. Really nice lashes and skin. Prominent eyebrows. Yeah, yeah, you know what, I have seen that guy. I mean, you've seen him, he should be no, he, this is the last place you should be at. He should, no condition right now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I can't. I saw him a few days ago. You can obviously see that I'm looking for him right now. I have no idea why you would say it like that. Just, just make me copies, please. I, please. Um. Yeah, like 25, 100,000 or so. Okay, color? Ah, uh, you know what, do whatever you want. I don't want to waste your ink. Saw your face. I can tell that you've seen me before. I like your, um, your, your tank top. It, it's futuristic. <laughs> Thank you very much. Call your friends. Tell them who you met today. Tell them my name's Melvin Malden. But you already know that, because you know who I am. OK. OK, you're not doing it, though. You got to pick up the phone to do that. Hi. what you get. What? Headshot. That's great. I only have one though. I'm sorry, sweetheart. What's your name? It's Tina, but please, you do not have to give me that. It's fine. Do you want yeah. funny or serious? I can do both. Funny is fine. Do you want it to rhyme? Sure. Okay, I might take a, oh, I like it. Tina, the ballerina. Huh? You like this? You want that? That's great. Thank you. So you know Paul? Yeah, it's actually kind of awkward between us right now because his girlfriend's trying to sleep with me. She's in love. And it's even weirder because he's sort of funny looking and I'm better looking than she is, so... Please don't tell me it's Susan. It is actually Susan, yeah. Don't let me catch this on an internet auction site. Oh, you won't. Okay. Here's your girl right now. Oh, watch his chemistry, it's amazing. Is that Melvin? What? Who's that Melvin? Oh, that is Melvin. Oh, no, Harris. Hey, what do you think? Extremely uncanny is what they would say, huh? Come on, tell me who it is. No, then that picture's really weird. Come on, it's got a lighting bulb. Tell me who it is. Come on, I'll give you two guesses. It'll be okay. You were my life. That's what you did. <laughs> Just kidding. You seen this man? Nope. Harris! I wonder what happened to Harris? Yeah, he's dead. It's a shame. Melvin! Well, Harris... Melvin, why, why would you that even say not that? Nice. It's not even like a funny joke or anything. See this guy right here? Melvin, what happened to your hair? Uh, I became a model, a television commercial actor. Hey, really? right, kind of. Did you see he this guy? <laughs> no. Excuse work. me, what happened to the paint on? What? You know, what? Melvin, I'm really proud of you. Aww. <laughs> Mwah. Okay, Melvin, you okay. Ow. Girlfriend. You now I was going to traverse the globe with Frederic. I'm going to stay here. That's really good of you. Harris, you, know? you know he needs you. Uh, you do what you got to do once. Uh, I think Harris is going to be just fine. Why Susan, shut up. There's no way Harris can take care of himself without me. Are you serious? Like, it's light. I think he might. Really? Yeah. Take a look. Oh. Looks fine to me. Oh, thank God. I'm going to get my own dirigible. Ferry's going to totally give me one my face on it. My own Sky City. Melvin, how'd they even confuse that with Harris? It's not even a common yeah, name. Yeah, I made a promise I shouldn't have kept. I even think that is a name. You know what, Melvin? Your hair is starting to grow on me. Really? Because my weekend's pretty open. I mean, me and you Mine can Mine just... What is this, a birthday party? Sort of. What, uh, what have you been up to all day? Well, I went over to the architecture firm, but I kind of got sidetracked. There was this guy in the park, and he was selling hot dogs, and I was like, hmm. but he smelled kind of funny, so I kind of skedaddled. And then I hung out with these college kids, and we were playing soccer. You don't play it. soccer, though. Yeah, it turns out I can't play <laughs> soccer very well. But I never made it to the architecture firm. I don't know, I just got distracted, I guess. Hey, little bro. Come here. I was worried about you today. Oh, yeah? What happened to your hair, dude? Looks kind of dumb. Oh, I'm famous now. It's worth it. <laughs> yeah, we're fine. We're good? Yeah. All right. You don't hate me, do you? No, I don't hate you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure she met me, Melvin, but I don't hate you either. Oh. Hey, Grams. 
Hey, honey. Let's do Let's with, uh, they do with birthday cakes and stuff. Let's sit down. Two cakes. You trying to give me diabetes, mom? <laughs> I think you should do the honors. Put real candles? I, okay. This year. We'll do one this year. Maybe next year we'll do more. Okay. Baby steps. <laughs>